Look at that. Look at that. Yes. And I didn't even cast that one that far. Yeah. Let's go. I ain't gonna lie. I'm always a little bit nervous reaching in for this thing. This is a cast net, also known as a Hawaiian throw net. It's a GoTour branded six foot model. And I think it's more than enough to target the species that we're targeting in today's video, Pacific herring. So if you guys have never seen what a cast net is, it's this. And I'm sure you guys have seen it, but I'm sure a majority of you guys have never used one uh, in the Bay Area. Well, you know, in really any fishing area, these are the go-to uh, fishing tools to target uh, bait fish. And really, in my opinion, you earn your fishing stripes when you can throw one of these and when you can thumb a conventional reel without breaks. So obviously, I'm not a pro. Take any advice that I give in this video with a grain of salt. Uh, you're learning from a noob. But I put in the hours. I put in a lot of time in practicing with this thing and watching a few YouTube videos. This is the technique I've settled on, and uh, I think this is what works for me to get, you know, half pancakes. A true pancake, a true good cast is a cast where the net opens up full circle like a big donut, right? Like this. It lands flat on the water and uh, envelops all the targeted fish that uh, you want. You know, um, if you're lucky, you throw right over a school and you can get a whole bucket of herring uh, in one go. Uh, today's target species is Pacific herring and as of this year um, in order to target them legally you have to have a California fishing license that's current, um, a throw net, and as of this year you're limited to 10 gallons per person per day. A couple gallons is more than enough for me and uh, maybe just enough for uh, a tasty snack later on. So let me show you how I throw my version of a Hawaiian throw net. Okay, we're gonna start with a throw net on the ground. And uh, while this might seem a little intimidating at first, it is, it is a little difficult, uh, self-admittedly, uh, but just like anything else, you do it enough and you're gonna get the hang of it. It all kind of transfers into muscle memory and before you know it, you're not even thinking about it. You're thinking less about the cast and more about the fish that are in front of you. Of course, it starts with the wrist leash. This is a neoprene strap, it's probably like 13 inches long and it goes over my wrist. I have like medium large hands and the way this is uh, kind of preset out of the box, it fits my wrist perfectly. So again, tight enough where once I throw it, it doesn't fall off my wrist and I don't lose my net, but loose enough where in the event uh, I had an emergency, it'll slip off. For the purposes of today's video, I think I'm gonna be comfortable enough to do an extra couple wraps just to ensure that I don't lose it because I'm not gonna be by any props and I'm not gonna be on a vessel, uh, you know, and I'm not gonna be moving. So now that I've got it around my wrist, uh, I'm gonna take up the slack, and this is important. Some guys say, you know, put little quarter turns and coil it as you pull it up like an electrical cord. I don't like to do that. Um, I like to go kind of back and forth, kind of like a crab pot line, right? So when you're pulling up lead line, uh, you know, literally lead line for your crab pots, this is the way I like to do it. So I'm not introducing any uh, memory into the line, any twists that are gonna compromise my uh, cast net later. So. I'm going back and forth, right? I've got it in my hand like this. I'm gonna pick up the horn of the net like so, okay? So this is a six foot net. I'd say there's about, you know, four foot of actual netting when it's closed in front of me. And I'm gonna aim for a third down the line. So I've got, you know, one third over here and I've got two thirds down here. So now that I have the net positioned in my hand, I'm gonna let it hang naturally next to my body. And I'm gonna go down to the bead that's closest to my right hip, okay? I'm gonna take that bead, pick it up, and put it in my pointer finger and my thumb like this. So now in my hand, I have my lead line, I have my net, and I have that bead that was closest to my hip. You're gonna hold it like that and I'm going to take the lead line that's closest to my body, that bead lead line. I'm gonna go down about halfway, take that lead line and put it over my right forearm. I'm starting to open up the net and I'm starting to introduce um, the shape of the net so as I throw it, it opens up correctly, okay? I'm gonna look at that lead bead line, the inside bead line, and I'm gonna again take the bead that's closest to my right hip and put it in my other hand. So right dominant hand here, my left hand, is uh, on that bead that was there. So now I have the net about a quarter open. The throw is gonna open it up 100%. And if you do it right, uh, it should open it up into a perfect circle. So when you throw it, you kinda want to swing that weight. Um, if you can imagine kind of 
allowing it to um, you know circle and spread out as it hits the water and you kind of want to throw like a big umbrella in the sky essentially you're throwing an umbrella on top of a school of bait fish so if you can imagine it you want to use uh, centripetal force to open up that circle of beads and have it land flush on the water over that school of fish so let's get the first throw in okay watch how I swing and throw this into the water Okay, so that was like, I'd say a three out of 10. Look at this line, nice and straight. Again, no coils because I didn't, uh, you know, coil it in my hand. I just went back and forth. And uh, as I pull it in, I'm gonna do the same thing. And it's important to notice, um, you know, you might not know what the depth is when you throw your net in the water. I have a little trick for that in a second here. But as you pull up your line, you wanna make sure that uh, the rope is coiled correctly you know, back in your hand. So you're prepping for the next row already. And uh, as you pull it up, you're gonna create essentially a bag. Now, if there were any fish in here, they'd be in the bottom of this bag right here. This is considered the bag. Now let's pretend that we actually caught some bait fish and this is the bucket that you're gonna put your bait fish in, right? You put your bucket there, you take your bag and all of your fish jumping around in that bag. You're gonna kind of eyeball where the weights are right in the middle. Drop those weights through your hand that's gripping the horn. Put those weights in first and let the fish fall in and kind of empty the bag right into the bucket. Super, super easy. And because you already have the line correctly, you know, in your hand, all you do is grab that net again, a third of the way down. So you have the horn side here, two thirds of the rest of the net down to the beads and you start over. You take that inside bead, put it in your pointer finger and thumb, take the next inside bead put it over your forearm and take the next inside bead and have it ready to go in your left throwing hand and you're ready for your second cast okay i'd say that was a four out of ten so i promise you it's a little difficult at first practice 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 if you don't know how deep you know water is especially at nighttime here's something that might help this is a Lucky Laker fish finder, a shore-based castable fish finder. Now this thing is kind of like a deeper, okay, let's be honest, it's a cheaper deeper and uh, it's cool. It allows you to figure out the depth and contours of the water you're casting in and uh, it allows you to see the fish that are down below. So it comes with the fish finder itself, the little sonar ball that you cast out into your targeted body of water and a wireless, I guess, Wi-Fi enabled fish finder screen um, that shows you depth and water temperature and uh, you know rough suggestions of contour on the bottom and where the fish are. It's about, I don't know, half the price of a deeper. Give it a shot. I definitely used one in today's vid and it allowed me to see where the fish were even in complete darkness. Okay, I've shown you the casting net and what I intend to do with it and how I throw it. And I've showed you the cheaper, deeper, the Lucky Laker uh, castable fish finder that might help you see the fish that you're casting for. So let's take this throw net out to the herring grounds where they're spawning tonight. And let's see if we can catch our very first bucket full of herring. Here we go. Yeah, isn't that cool? Yeah, yeah you use it for uh, trout. Uh, well, what they call this, the uh, fish detector? Uh, uh, yeah, it's, a, it's called a, a Lucky Laker. Oh, Lucky Laker. Yeah, Lucky Laker fish finder. Mm -hmm. uh, fish finder. Yo, yo, yo. What's up, dude? Hey, man, how do I get there? I can't figure out how to get to the... Oh, wait, are you driving? Yeah. Uh, oh, uh, oh, I gotta... I, I don't know, dude. I see a bunch of construction. We, we walked over here. Oh, you did? Okay. Um, I'll be there in like five minutes. Okay, all right, cool. Because okay. we, we actually, we see a lot, like, jumping right now. Oh, sh okay. Like, no one's around us. Okay, okay. <laughs> Oh, 
I've never caught like uh, with anything with a cast net. I've had this for like two years in the back of my truck, this net, but never had a reason to use it, so. Oh, oh shoot. Okay, 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 okay. Shh. All right, ready? All right. For the win right here. Let's go, let's go. Pancake, baby. Let's go. Oh, shoot. That wasn't very good. Oh, nothing. Okay, that was a bad throw. That was a bad throw. Damn it. Damn, dude, this is hard. I gotta channel my inner islander. Oh, that was better. That was better. Oh, I gotta be fast, though. Oh, I don't want to be like Matt's. Oh, let's go! Let's go! Yes! Dude, let's go! Let's go, let's go! I, I, I think I got it. I, I changed something in my, in my cast a little bit. Dude! I'm living the dream! Let's go! Okay, okay, okay. We got some progress here. Send it. Oh. oh, let's go. Oh, okay. Yeah, dude, I'm just letting it go down to the bottom. Oh, just like on YouTube. Ooh, that's a bad promise. That felt good. Oh, look at the throw. Let's go. He guaranteed it. He guaranteed it. Yeah. Oh, not too bad. Not too bad. Okay. Ooh, I got a lot on that one. A right, little, little by little. I'm gonna be gassed out by the time I get to the top of this bucket. It's actually pretty tiring. You know why? Cause like I'm, I'm using like most of my like legs and core not to fall. You know, it's like all of my like toes and ankles right now. Oh, that's a good one. Let's see. Oh, that one felt good. <laughs> yeah, that, no, we we came out kind of trying to pinpoint the right location and oh look at this one this is a good one one lead I'm literally just casting like the same like 10 10 square foot like target they seem to be you know what they're spawning because there's eggs in here too I'm waiting till it like just touches the bottom see yeah I'm waiting till there's no more, um, till there's a little bit of slack in the lead line. Ooh, that's gonna be a good one. Oh, I think this is gonna be a good one. I can feel them. Yes! Oh! Woo! Hey, dude, look, they came in, man. It's heavy. Yeah, yeah, I think a couple more. Let's go. Oh, dude, I'm at the top already. They're going to jump out. They're, you know what? They came in. They're right here. This is fun. I can see why people like to do this. Oh, yeah. Sorry about that. Look at that. Look at that. Yes. And I didn't even cast that one that far. I know. I want to run this one up to my cooler. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Oh. We did it boys and girls. We got our herring via cast net over here. So I have no idea how this video is gonna turn out. Sorry if I didn't really kind of talk it up, but it's my first time doing this. Middle of the night, you guys saw kind of where I was at and boom, look at that. Not uh, anywhere near my potential daily limit. 
but I'll take what I can get. Those are um, herring, great bait, great table fare, and uh, can't wait to process them and freeze them and uh, use them in a future video. So thanks again for watching. We'll see you in the next one.